We're gonna go over the bunkhouse now. In this configuration, you've got a nice little dinette here for additional seating if you need it. So this table is very, very simple to take off and put back. All you do is just a single pull. So you just, the pull has tabs on the end of it. Just match the tabs to the bracket on the ground. Just put it in there. Just keep rotating it until it drops into place and then rotate it until it can't, you can't rotate it anymore. Because it's just a single pull, there is going to be a little bit of wobb wobbliness in it. That's normal, but just know that that's going to be there. So we just take the pull, put it out of the way. This is going to be our bottom plate for our bunk, our bottom bunk. So we just set it in there in between the cushions on either side. And then we take the cushions from the outside and that's going to be the last part of our bed. We'll tent it right in the middle and then push down and then that's our bottom bunk. Each of the bunks does have a TV associated with it and they're also each of the each of the TVs also doubles as a DVD player. There's a TV there's a DVD player built into each of those those TVs. To operate the to drop the bop, top bunk down, just pull these brackets out. Set them down. This top, excuse me, this top bunk does have a maximum capacity of 250 pounds. So if somebody does exceed that, please don't have them go up there. They've, there's tons of other beds in the coach for them to be able to use. But that's how you use the bunkhouse. If you want privacy for the bunkhouse, just pull that and then gently pull the privacy screen all the way around. It's nice because it doesn't get very, very hot in there because it's just a, a sheer, uh, it's just a curtain instead of a wall. So it doesn't get too hot in there. So you can keep that closed while you're, while you're sleeping, giving that area additional privacy. But that is your bunkhouse.